Yeah, okay, here the manual here is from the DigiScan DS400 from the DigiLog technology INC here. And it's uh, similar to the DigiScan UFO Lite, but without a home channel and a fast up and down switch button. Okay, here you can see it, the electronic parts. Um, it's absolutely identical with the DigiScan UFO Elite. Okay, this is the program chart and uh, for the Polymer SP500 we need the code number one here for the UPD858K here about 11.285 MHz reference crystal frequency. Okay, the DigiScan is now programmed to the UPD858. It's in the chart, written in the chart, and now I will switch on the sewers here. Okay. Okay, I'm back here. The DigiScan is switched off. And uh, we'll take a look into the 858 clone uh, case here. Uh, this polymer radio uh, includes an uh, MC145106. The reference frequency here uh, is about uh, 11.285. Uh, like the UPD858 chassis, like uh, Cobra 138XLR or Stalk 101, etc. etc. Yes, the first coax here, the detector, the voltage detector output to the VCO is connecting with this point here. Uh, this is a test point for check the VCO voltage here out from the old Motorola uh, PLL and this here is the very cap here and that L17 here VCO coil okay and the second coax we connect here with this point uh, this is the down converter um, output uh, to the divider of the PLL here and uh, after this we must um, cut off the tracks here from the test point to the PLL from the second test point to the PLL and from the sewers to the PLL and the PLL must be out of order yes and the plus here the plus of the digi scan is going to the power switch on and the minus here the ground the minus go to the ground yes and now I will connect this digi scan UFO Elite here to this uh, Polymer SSB 500 radio Okay, I'm back again here on the schematic diagram. You can see here the VCO part here, very cap. This is the loop filter. One coax we connect with this point and cut off the track here to the pin 7 of the old PLL. Then second, the second coax we connect here with this point. Uh, this is the down converter. Mix it down converter output here, go to the pin 2 of the PLL of the old PLL and we cut the track here and uh, cut the track to the plus. Yes, uh, this is the signal here on the input amplifier here, uh, measured by D5 and 6, the squared signal. Okay. Uh, we show the signal here on the input amplifier. The down mixed signal about 1100 kilohertz. 
Okay, this is the graph of the down converted input frequency to the divider uh, about uh, channel 16 and this is 1100 kilohertz uh, like the chart, the programming chart here. Okay, the PLL is then locket and the input reference frequency and the variable input frequency from the down mixer is in phase and then we get a lock detect output pulse signal yes there's a phase detector um, output here to the loop filter uh, this is the charge pump here okay to connect the digi scan to my polymer radio um, we are needing a, a loop filter here, a homemade loop filter with a capacitor, 10 microfarad, and um, a pot meter about 10 kilo ohms to the ground here. Okay, and now we can see the regulator voltage here. It's about 5 volts here. And it's okay here. Loop filter is working good. Okay. And on this point uh, we can see fast detector output. Fast detector output to the VCO input here. Okay, now we can see the graph here of an unlocked PLL of the DigiScan. It's a really direct current and now I switched on the transceiver and the VCO will regulate this is the regulator voltage okay now I want to check the VCO voltage uh, without luck here the PLL is unlocked and the uh, voltage is about 5 volts here and we turn on the transceiver on 27155 and we look at the VCO voltage it's about 1.74 volts on channel 16 and now I'd like to go to 28000 Okay, we are on 28000 and we'll check the voltage here. It's about 2.99 volts. 2. Point, about 3 volts here. Okay, not bad. I think we can go higher about 29. But the counter stops about 28.000. And now I want to go to 25.9995. Okay, we are on 25.995 here. And uh, with your control uh, voltage is about. Yes, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. The voltage is about 4.2 volts, I think um, it's okay. Transceiver is locked. And I don't know. 4.2 volts, about 25.9995. I will check with the signal generator. Um, 25.995 enter okay it's no signal here okay I have the solution Digi scan is counting back over the zero point and now we are on 28 555 Okay and then read out 
shows me 26.050 well, we are on 28.610 and now we are one count over the zero point and now we are on 512 the count is now division is now 512 Okay, we are on 26.1 is the lowest possible frequency in the moment. I must realign the VCO and uh, we will we'll look here the, the VCO voltage um, is uh, very low in the moment here uh, but it's, it's a very broad band in the moment. It's not bad. Um, yes, we'll look here the voltage uh, is about Zero point three four five volts here, okay. Yes, and this is my new president Adams direct from the postman here. And this transceiver is an US transceiver here uh, with uh, the original FCC plate here on the back here. I'm very happy. The biggest can go on this transceiver.